Hey there fellow gamers, it is such an exciting time just before the release of a new game and this Friday the 13th is the release of Borderlands 3. In this hype video we're going to take a look at two of the four amazing Vault Hunters and their skills. I just can't decide which character I'm going to choose, Zane or Flack. What I would like you to do is comment your choice with your reasons even if you are a Moe's or a Mara admirer. I think we're going to see some uh, very motivating opinions guys and hit that subscribe button and bell for gameplay on Friday the 13th. I'll try to get it up as soon as I can. Okay, the character choice. First, let's take a look at Zane, the operative, or the John Wick of the Borderlands if you will. Being a part of the infamous Flint family, Zane is a semi-retired hitman with some awesome gadgets. He can use up to two action skills at a time, although this will prevent him from throwing grenades. To help you decide whether Zane is the right gaming style for you, let's take a look at these three action skills. So the three you will have is Double Agent, Undercover and Hitman. Man, this is going to be a fun game. Zane's first action skill is Double Agent with his Digi Clone as the starting skill. He uses the Digi skill to fire at and confuse his enemies. And as well, you can switch places with your clone. Then there is Undercover. With this skill, Zane can drop a defensive barrier or shield that blocks hostile enemy fire. Zane can also pick up the shield and move around with it. Quite cool, right? And then there is the skill Hitman. With this action skill, Zane can command a sentinel drone that hovers and fires a machine gun at his enemies. And now we come to Flak. Flak is the beast master and, and they are a wandering robot. A fierce hunter with beasts following them everywhere. I think this Fall Hunter will be a big fan favorite for many gamers. Remember to drop those um, comments guys, really want to know what you think you, who you think your favorite is. Flak has three loyal pets to choose from. A Skag, a creature that always enjoys a fight, a spider and quite a funny creature with a draw bit for a leg, and then the loyal Jabba that runs around with a pistol. With each action skill, Flak can command one of the three pets to fight with them. The action skills are Fade Away, Rack Attack and Gamma Burst. With Fade Away, Flak cloaks and turns himself invisible for a period of time. In Fade Away, Flak is always joined by the loyal Jabba. When fighting with the Jabba, Flak's movement speed also increases. Then Rack Attack. Rack are winged creatures native to the planet Pandora. With this skill, Flak sends forth Rack to dive bomb the enemy. And now the Spider Ant is there to support with health regeneration. With Gamma Burst skill, Flak forces a rift at an enemy location then teleporting a pet through the rift to inflict radiation damage. That sounds pretty cool. Flak can also use this skill to revive injured or dead pets. There are probably many gamers facing the same dilemma as me. Flak or Zane or Moe's or Amara. We don't know. There's other options. They're all amazing characters to play in the new Borderlands 3. Whoever you choose your adventure is bound to be awesome. Just a reminder guys, you know, if you like the video and you stay to the end, I would really appreciate if you hit that like button and subscribe.